Hi guys, welcome back to Dust Not Included. My name's Roy and I'm here at the Northern Thrift in Coventry, Rhode Island. This place just opened, so I'm gonna check it out for the first time. And look, they already got a cart for me. So I'm super excited to check this place out. It's my first time here and they just opened. Wow, look at this, right walking in they have a ton of stuff. Hey little guy. Isn't he cute? And wow, this store is big. So I started over on the left because I saw some shelves. I went straight to them. Looks like there's mostly dishware over here. I do like this picture. It is Stangle Pottery in the Thistle pattern. It is really pretty. Hmm. I'm going to think about it. I also am a kind of a sucker for glass plates and I really liked the color on these. Their shape was also very interesting, but there were only three. I would have preferred a set of four. I thought this little blue dish was really pretty with the crab on the side. A little modern. Here's a 1960s Homer Laughlin wheat gravy boat. And wow, did they have some holiday sections. It was, they were just piled high with the holiday decor. So you know me, I had to go through it. I liked the little cupcake holders, but they were kind of, there wasn't much else in the bag. They were definitely ready for Easter. And hey, look, there's a little leprechaun guy here. And they had Halloween out. Plus Christmas. They were definitely ready for the holidays. I didn't see too much vintage. But I did look. <laughs> look at that face. And over here we have some Ray Dunn mugs. Merry and bright. I did like this glass paperweight. It was really pretty. With the snowflake in there. Holy moly. This is nuts. The shelves over here were packed and they even had it spilling over to the floor. I definitely had to put down the camera and check these things out because who knows what was here. Everything was random and in boxes. I didn't find anything vintage, but there were some cute things. Well, I'm off to the other side of the store because I noticed they had shelves over on this side too. I don't know where I'm going. Starting out over here. It seemed like it was the doll section and they definitely had some dolls. 
They definitely had some vintage ones, but there weren't really any I had to have. I loved this little music box. It says love on the tree and the coupleds on the swing. So cute. I love these figural decanters from the 60s. Check this guy out. He would have been a whiskey bottle from the Stitzel Weller Distillery. I also loved this paperweight. It was all inlaid stone. This perfume bottle is pretty. Holy jewelry! They had all of these cases and it was so nicely displayed. This store was massive. So over to the side here, I noticed this little section. So. I combed through it. It was mostly new in box items. But hey, it was my first time here and I decided I would go check out everything. And that's when I noticed that on top of all of the clothing racks, they had more hard goods. I loved this little fairy light. It's a um, lithopane fairy light. Check out these little guys. I couldn't believe how this store was set up. They just had items everywhere. Love this glass covered dish. It's a beautiful color. And look at this Christmas picture set. I had to go up and down every aisle. I couldn't believe how much stuff was here. I'm sure I missed something. Then I found a Lennox vase section. But what I really loved was this glass flower and it was designed to go like in a pot. So you'd always have a beautiful flower. I thought this piece was neat. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Over here, I decided to stop and check out some of the demi tasses and teacups. The store also had um, a sale today. They had five colors on 50% off. Crazy. I will definitely be coming back to check out more of what they have. However, I do have to say I wasn't a huge fan of the way the store was set up. It made it really difficult to shop some of the hard goods when people are also shopping the clothes. And it just made it really awkward. It wasn't the best setup, but I'll tell you, they sure had a lot to look at. This little creamer was very interesting. It's a lusterware piece and I'm used to seeing them in orange and blue. I thought it was really nice to see the purple. And then I saw this ice bucket. How mid-century modern. I hope to see you guys at my next live sale, Thursday at 6.30. Well, the Northern Thrift turned out to be a pretty good thrift store. They have lots of discounts and I'm gonna have to check them out again real soon.